Welcome to the lesson Subject Verb Concord for Compound Subjects. After completing this lesson, you will be able to state subject verb concord for compound subjects. List the rules of subject verb concord for compound subjects. Shireen and Amir are sitting in the school cafeteria. They are talking about the new play that is showing in the town theater. Shireen tells Amir that either Kea or Zwinki are going for the play. Amir corrects her and says it is either Kea or Zwinki is going for the play. Shireen is not aware that she must use the verb is. Amir tells her that it is simple if one knows subject verb concord for compound subjects. He decides to tell Shireen more about it. Let us also learn about subject verb concord for compound subjects. A compound subject is made up of two or more subjects that are connected by a coordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions are used to join sentences and, or, nor are examples of coordinating conjunctions. We must remember that the subjects that form a compound subject have the same verb. Read the following example. Tina and Gita learn French. Tina and Gita form a compound subject. They are connected by the coordinating conjunction and. Both of them take the same plural verb learn. There are certain rules for subject verb concord for compound subjects. Let us look at them. When a compound subject is connected by and, both the subjects take plural verbs. For example, the girls and boys have gone for the picnic. The subjects girls and boys are connected by and, they take the plural verb have gone. A compound subject that refers to one thing or idea or person or to something considered as one unit takes a singular verb. For example, bread and butter is my first meal of the day. Bread and butter refer to one meal and take the singular verb is. Look at the next sentence. My friend, my brother and my inspiration is Ashish. The compound subject refers to one person Ashish, so it takes the singular verb is. A compound subject made up of singular nouns or pronouns and connected by or or no takes a singular verb. For example, either the boy or the girl was here. The singular nouns boy and girl are connected by or they take the singular verb was. Look at the next sentence. The singular pronouns he and she will take the singular verb has left. However, a compound subject made up of plural nouns or pronouns and connected by or or no takes a plural verb. For example, the dogs or the cats are making a noise. The plural nouns dogs and cats connected by or take the plural verb are making. There are different rules for a compound subject made up of a singular subject and a plural subject connected by or or no. The compound subject will take a singular verb if the subject close to the verb is singular. For example, either the windows or the door is creaking. Since the singular noun door is close to the verb, the compound subject takes the singular verb is creaking. The compound subject will take a plural verb if the subject close to the verb is plural. For example, neither the boy nor his friends have found the coin. Since the plural noun friends is close to the verb, the compound subject takes the plural verb have found. 
when the subjects joined by o no are of different persons the verb agrees with the nearer subject for example either he or we are wrong since the subject we is close to the verb it takes the plural verb are look at the next sentence neither you nor she is disloyal since the subject she is close to the verb it takes the singular verb is when i is one of the subjects joined by or no it is usually placed closer to the verb in such cases the verb agrees with i for example neither he nor i know how this ends in some cases when the subjects are of different persons and number and connected by and the verb will be plural for example the girls and i are talking the plural verb are talking is taken this is because girls and i can be spoken of as we hence the verb is plural look at the other sentence you and he are fond of dance you and he can be spoken of as the plural you hence it takes the plural verb are we have looked at subject verb concord for compound subjects let us now read some more examples Amir has explained subject verb concord for compound subjects to Shireen. Let us now revise the main points for Shireen before Amir and she leave the cafeteria. A compound subject is made up of two or more subjects that are connected by a coordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions are used to join sentences and or no are examples of coordinating conjunctions the subjects that form a compound subject have the same verb there are certain rules for subject verb concord for compound subjects when a compound subject is connected by and both the subjects take plural verbs a compound subject that refers to one thing or idea or person or to something considered as one unit takes a singular verb a compound subject made up of singular nouns or pronouns and connected by or or nor takes a singular verb a compound subject made up of plural nouns or pronouns and connected by or or nor takes a plural verb there are different rules for a compound subject made up of a singular subject and a plural subject connected by or or no the compound subject will take a singular verb if the subject close to the verb is singular the compound subject will take a plural verb if the subject close to the verb is plural When the subjects joined by or nor are of different persons the verb agrees with the nearer subject when i is one of the subjects joined by or nor it is usually placed closer to the verb in such cases the verb agrees with i in some cases when the subjects are of different persons and number and connected by and the verb will be plural